you can easily create a chatbot for your website for free. In a minute, I'll show you how to train your chatbot on your custom data in seconds, how to create a simple chatbot flow that even can capture emails, and how to add it to your own website very simply. Not only can you do this for your website, but people are currently selling this as a service to other people for thousands. So if you watch this video carefully, by the end of this video, you'll know how to create a custom chatbot and add it to your website. Step number one, go to chatling.ai because this is the easiest way to build an effective AI chatbot. All you need to do is click on get started for free. Now that you're on the inside, all we need to do is step number two, create a chatbot. Just click on this create chatbot icon and four different options will appear. You can start from scratch where you build it from the ground up. You can use the AI chatbots that automatically responds to customers by leveraging your data, such as website content, documents, and more. I'll show you that at a later stage. Basic lead gen, engage with prospective leads and capture their contact information. And we have the lead gen plus AI that harnesses AI to engage with prospective customers and collect their information. I'm gonna make a simple one called AI Chatbot, so I'll click on that one. Now we just select a name like Ecom Chatbot and let's create. As you can see, we end up on this dashboard with all of these different options that we can pick between. And most likely you wanna jump into the builder that looks a lot like this. But before that, I highly recommend you go to step number three, add knowledge. So in the dashboard, you see the knowledge base, we're just gonna click on it and then we get to add data sources by clicking on add new. And this is important because you don't want the AI to just be an AI. You actually want it to train it on your data. You can do this with website, sitemap, like an XML, URL list, text, FAQ, and document that you can upload. And let me show you how easy this is. So I'm gonna create an e-commerce chatbot for this website called JetPens. They sell pencils, cases, bags, papers. And you see in the bottom right-hand corner, they don't even have an AI chatbot. It's also kind of funny to say to an AI, sell me this pen. We're gonna go to the URL, select all of it and copy. We'll go back to Chatling. We'll go to the website section and click on next. Now it will start crawling the entire website. And as you can see, it's indexed about almost 8,000 pages here to get all the information. Now we just click on submit. You can see we added 1,072 data sources. Step number four, create a workflow. Just go to the builder, and I've set up this interesting workflow here that I'm gonna show you how to create right now. First, let me explain how it works. So you enter through the start node that says, hey there, are you interested in a pen taken straight out of Wolf of Wall Street? They can click on yes or no. If they click on yes, what type of pen are you looking for? Where the question here, will be answered by the AI. We add them to, you have another question, yes or no. If yes, what can we help you with? And then you can answer with the question number two. And if they have another question, yes, it goes back into this block again, and they can basically keep asking questions forever, unless they say no, where we're gonna pull them back. Okay, that's fine. If you want to get updated every Wednesday, <laughs> I'm a dad. About your favorite pen discoveries, sign up your email here. So this is where you can capture the email for an email newsletter. And it ends with thanks, contact name, my new pen pal will write to you soon, bye. You see how this easily can add value to your customers? Well, let me show you how to build it right now. All you need to do is go to the blocks in the left-hand side where we can all of these different things. Text, image, video, audio, carousel, that you can send as a message, or you can capture these responses, even with buttons, text, number, email, URL, date, time, and all of these things. You also have the AI response that I showed you where all of these different questions here, question two, 
and question one, but they also have these variables here that you can see store data from the chatbot in variables to be used later in a conversation. So this is company name, email, job title, and all of these different things that you can save to the database essentially. They also have AI configuration where you can give it instructions. This has helped to tailor its responses. You can even view the examples here, like your name is Joanne and you are a customer support assistant. Your tone of voice must be professional keep your answers concise and to the point so you can add these easily to train the AI a lot better on how to respond. The same goes for knowledge base that I just showed you, but I promised to show you how to build an AI chatbot. So let's drag a text block in here that creates a new group and we can enter the text here. Now I'm going to make it a little bit different. I'll just click on it right here. Then I'm entering the text that I want the AI chatbot to send. You can rename it ecom1 and click on the enter text where in the right hand side you can type your message. So I'll do a little bit of a shorter one for this example so you know everything that's going on. Hey, I'm JetPen's AI assistant. Are you interested in a pen? And then to capture a response to this, we'll use some buttons. As you can see, enter the button yes. And we can choose to store this variable as as well and we're going to also click on add another button which is no and it seems like we dragged it out here so we just drag it in again and now this first block is completed next we're going to drag an ai response into the second block we're also going to add this capture response which is a form that we need to set up to store this variable so i'm going to click on the form add a field here I'm going to label it first question. It's going to be a type text that we can feed the AI later. Then we want to store the user input as a value. So I'm going to type it as first question and click on plus create. There we go. I'm going to drag this to the top and then we're going to enter into the AI variable here where we have the response source. Here, we're also going to have the question where we're going to use the brackets and take in the question we just got from the form called first question. Then we can use stream, we can use model, the global AI settings. They have all these different models here. You can also use language and temperature. We're going to have that on basic. And there you go. You just created your second block and then we're going to drag that in. Oops, actually, the first question that we want to ask, we don't want to call it first question. We want to call it the actual question that we're asking what type of pen are you looking for just like that we'll actually get it to ask the question but what do we want to do with the no answer well we're gonna drag some text in here and pitch them for our newsletter to keep it simple we'll just say all good enter your email here to get updated every Wednesday. And then I'm going to drag this email capture to the group where you can choose or create a variable. We already have this contact email variable. So we're going to just click on that. You want to select input required or not. You can keep on optional or required as well as disallowed domains. If you have some sort of spam domain that you don't want drag the no answer right in here. And then we'll just do the last block here with a text pull it over where I'm going to have a short, awesome, a new pen pal message here that I'll say after they sign up their email. You can obviously have a bunch of instructions here, even a free giveaway or something like that, coupon code, anything you like. And for the yes question, we could either go down to this block here, get them to sign up to their own email, or you can actually kind of infinitely loop your question to say, what type of pen are you looking for? Infinite amount of times. Or you can obviously follow this flow here where we say have another question. Yes, no. And what can we help you with? Have another question. And then it goes in a feedback loop like that. This was pretty easy, right? You can probably create your own chatbot now pretty easily, but how do we actually add it to a website? Just click on this add to website button because this is where you will get the HTML to put on your website. If you've never done this before, it's very simple, but they have a couple of different options that you can pick between like floating chat, inline that will put it inside of your website or even full screen to give it more attention. 
So you can click on these and you will see that they have different options. We're gonna do the floating chat and all you need to do is copy this tiny piece of code. You can see it integrates with Shopify, Squarespace, WordPress, and all these different options for you. I use WordPress, so they have an easy guide for me here that I'll show you now. It seems the easiest way is to go to plugins and then click on add new plugin, search for header and footer, and we're gonna install this plugin. Then we'll activate it, we'll refresh the site, and as you can see, it's now under the settings, so we can easily go down and put the HTML in the footer. Just click on save changes. And just like that, on my website, you can see we have this chatbot icon in the bottom right. Whoops, it seems like we didn't publish our chatbot. So I'll go back to it and I'll click on publish. Let's refresh, click on it again. And just like that, you have a simple chatbot. Hey there, are you interested in a pen? Do you remember the workflow we made? What type of pen are you looking for? I'll ask it, what are some of the most expensive pens you got? And it comes back with all of these different links that we can click on. For example, this platinum ends us up on this website. Wow, these are some beautiful expensive pens right here. Maybe check out this regal pen as well. Wow, this is definitely a cool design. This chatbot is definitely selling me a pen. So now if you have another question, we can just say yes and it will happen the exact same. Or if we click on no, We'll get this message, that's fine. If you wanna get updated Wednesday about your favorite pen discovery, sign up here, your our email address, Bobby do you'll see that they are my new pen pal and will write you soon in the back end you can see we can actually check out all the conversations that are going on we can see our contacts and leads and change the appearance of the chatbot so if you want to add your logo there as well as integrate it with zapier to connect it with all your favorite tools but you should now be able to create a chatbot and add it to your website with your custom data. So go to chatlink.ai by clicking the link in the description down below so you can create one for your website so you can give more value to your customers. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in next one.